Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions, and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 243 of One Piece today. So in this last episode we got to see the CP9 making their move, and uh, they finally started this attack and uh, tried to uh, kill Iceberg, but we got to learn that the situation was uh, a lot more complex than we saw. So, the, uh, it was never their objective to kill Iceberg before, that was actually their plan to make him injured and uh, put the blame on the Straw at Pirates, so with that, uh, it would make Iceberg uh, have the chance to protect uh, this item that he really wanted to protect, and uh, actually the item that uh, the CP9 is after, so... It was uh, all part of their plan, and uh, I'll give them that, they are really smart about the way they do things. And um, I went back to to see uh, some of those scenes better, and it seems that um, the item uh, that he is keeping is the blueprints to a specific ship. So that's uh, what uh, the CP9 members are after, and I don't know uh, what that ship is about, but it's probably really special, since uh, they said that... Um, that uh, blueprint is passed from generation to generation, so it must be really important. And maybe it's a really like strong ship or something, I, I really need to learn more about it. Um, but yeah, it was really interesting to also learn about uh, some of their skills. It seems that uh, the other guy who was uh, with Robin uh, actually had this Devil Fruit power of uh, like being able to create doors in uh, the walls it touches. So this also explains, and uh, I wasn't uh, remembering that before uh, in the previous episode, but then I just realized that um, the previous moment when uh, Sanji uh, found Robin with uh, the guy and then they suddenly disappeared, uh, this power of him explains how that happened. So he probably just created a, a door in, in the wall in that place. Uh, so yeah, that's um, a really interesting power, and uh, I understand that there's um, there's going to be a lot of these uh, really crazy powers, but it's all, always really fun to see how like um, random they can be, like the power to uh, be able to create doors, that was really something that never crossed my mind. Uh, but yeah, it's also really fun to discover all of these new powers, and I really can't wait to to discover more of them. Uh, but yeah, right now the situation is uh, really bad for Iceberg and uh, for our friends, because um, we saw how Luffy is trying to make his way in, but uh, he's currently like trapped in the middle of the buildings or something. And uh, Nami, uh, Zoro and, um, and Chopper, uh, they were um, going around, but uh, the place was still full of those... Um, the, the craftsmen, so it's... Um, not going to be easy for them, of course, and uh, uh, like I said before, the CP9 members are really smart about the way they do things, and uh, I still really need to, or really want, uh, to see how exactly they look like, because right now they are only using masks for obvious reasons, of course, they don't want to be uh, like seen by anyone, like their real faces, but at some point we are probably going to discover uh, who some of these members are, um, but yeah, right now just really can't wait to see what's going to happen next, hopefully something good, because we also know that uh, this storm is coming, and uh, Usopp is in danger because of Frankie, since he's going to try and use him uh, to lure uh, the rest of the Straw Hat Pirates, uh, so yeah, there's uh, a lot of things to think about, and hopefully uh, some good things will start happening, but right now, just really can't wait to see what's going to happen in this next episode, so, with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start it. Also curious to see what Robin is going to do. I wonder if she would really kill Iceberg, if she was given that order. It's also nice of them to put these previews before. Just to... Refresh our memories about what happened.
already in or trying to get in. These guys are really strong. I don't know how many of them have Devil Fruit powers. But probably a lot of them. Also that Cypher Pole number 9, does that mean that there's others? Like CP9 is just um, a specific group inside of that organization? Not too sure, but something that I'm probably going to learn at some point. Yeah, they were still there waiting. And meanwhile, these guys taking them out. It, like, takes them and creates a door to not be seen or something. It's a really tricky power. Also defeated. Oh, damn. Man, this guy has this power the Dordor fruit, the Devil fruit. He's still incredibly powerful. How does he fight? Iron body. Just like that. How can he do that? He has two powers or something. Oh damn, is he going to break his arm? Damn, that's not it, but doesn't good either. Damn, okay, this is the opening. That was... I wonder how he works. How his power works. Is is this also part of the Dordor Devil Fruit power? Whenever he uses that power, he's made of iron or something. That's part of it. Not too sure. These guys are dangerous. Yeah, three of the best were just taken down by that guy. Man, this guy is... Just crazy power, for real. I really want to understand how exactly that works. He's also really fast. Hmm. 
That's nice. <laughs> Damn. It's coming through. <laughs> He's trying his best to not kill them. He's uh, just waiting for the order. I don't know, I want to believe that she's going to change. Yeah, that thing about uh, the poster in his room. Yeah, it is. Why did he do that? Damn. It's about that again. Oh yeah, this as well. Hmm. It's her. The ancient weapon. Hmm. Oh, damn. Yeah, that battleship. Not battleship, it's new now, but. They mentioned it was a ship. Damn, this is something really new.
Oh. Oh damn. We actually get the the eye catch with the um, with Robin. Actually wondering when we were going to see some new ones. With all of this information about the blueprints. I've heard about these um weapons before when they were in the Sky Islands. When she was looking at the um, Poneglyph there. There's some dangerous stuff going on. I'm going to need time to for everything to sink in. Yeah, really interesting stuff. Oh damn! Got shot a lot of times. It seems that uh, Iceberg had a plan. This is like part of it, and the CP9, they're not aware of it. So that's a fake, I guess? It's fake, right? Yeah, they got baited. Hmm. Damn. Luffy's coming though. Damn. Okay, that is not really good. Not really. Or like full of holes. Yeah. Oh, damn. He dodged it. It's power though. Devil Fruit power most likely. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, this was a, a failed mission for them. Damn.
I wonder what they're going to do since that blueprint was a fake. Not really at fault. You were all tricked by CP9. I wouldn't say she was taken, but I want her back as well. I don't know if they're going to be able to get out of that. Yeah, that determination. Oh, here. Are you going to make him tell them? Wait, what? That's the other bird, right? He's part of them! Wasn't he defeated here? He must well... Oh my god, are these five guys part of... Oh my god, that, that that was Khalifa. Even him? Holy... Damn, this is really crazy. Like, for real, those, not five, but most of those guys were actually undercover and they were, like, really close to him as if they were friends. Damn, that is so crazy. That really sucks for Iceberg because, I mean, just watching them now being uh, enemies after all of this time... And that's really crazy, and I really didn't see this coming, and I was really curious about uh, uh, the other girl who was um, fighting outside, uh, like the one who had this distorted voice, I couldn't really tell if that was a girl or a guy, but felt like it was a girl, and it seems that it was Khalifa, so that's a really, uh, uh, and this really sucks because, because Khalifa was really close to him, so she probably has a lot of information uh, about the Iceberg, and... Um, I mean, they were just together before this attack started, right? So yeah, that's pretty crazy that she just changed and um, like uh, her outfit, and um, she proceeded with this attack. So yeah, that's uh, really crazy. And I feel like this episode was like just really wild. Like there was so many things being told and so many things to to take into consideration. So at the start, we had this moment with uh, like Robin talking with the Iceberg. And uh, they started mentioning that um, Robin is the only one who's able to decipher these um, the the pony cliffs. 
and um, this is something that uh, the government um, like the government is looking for this blueprint so it's like um, they are trying to get the blueprint of uh, pluton and uh, that's probably like i don't know what they they actually want to do with that but i'm assuming that it's for some really bad things but i don't know what exactly robin is uh, looking for like they are trying to am i like I'm even trying to understand it myself right now. I'm like trying to explain how I think things are uh, like right now, but uh, it's a bit hard for me. Like it, a lot of things still need to sink in uh, because this was just uh, full of information. And um, right now I'm trying to think about everything, but it really felt like the government is uh, like um, manipulating Robin into. Uh, helping them on getting these um, blueprints and they need to uh, they need the pony glyphs in order to uh, get the, the like the ancient weapon or something and um, like it's it's something really crazy like uh, to know all of this uh, right now it's really sudden and um, just makes me feel like um, Robin is being uh, like threatened to do this and that's why they placed this uh, big bounty on her when uh, she was really young it was only because of her power so it's a uh, it really sucks for for her i want to believe that uh, she's not looking for um, any of these weapons she's not interested on um, like helping the government or or anything but it feels like um, she's trying to accomplish something so i don't know what else uh, these pony glyphs also tell but uh, it's uh, something to maybe learn at some point. Right now, I have this information and I need to go with what I know right now. Um, but yeah, this was definitely really, really helpful. And uh, just makes me think about how many uh, crazy things might be happening in the future. Since uh, there's these blueprints for these ancient weapons. And I don't know how exactly they look like. So we know that this um, blueprint of Pluton is um, the blueprint of this battleship and uh, it's supposed to be like really strong so i don't know how it looks like i don't know if um, like they would still need to uh, to build it right it's just a blueprint uh, but yeah I, I don't know if um, they're going to get it or not i don't really uh, know a lot right now I, I mean again i need to get a lot more information and i feel like they're doing a really good job with uh, showing uh, some of these moments and giving us uh, uh, these bits of information with every episode but uh, i feel like this one was still really heavy on that so they really um like they really showed a lot in, in this specific one uh, there was this this whole information about robin these blueprints and now this really big revelation about the other members. So I don't know how they did that since um, they were de defeating the others. They were fighting outside. Um, but uh, there was um, bodies similar to them outside and they were like beaten up. So I don't know if they were just decoys. They were like um, people uh, pretending to be them. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, something really crazy. And right now I'm really going to need some time to to get everything uh, clear and uh, i'm pretty sure that uh, by watching these next episodes everything is going to be uh, easier to understand uh, but yeah right now i'm just so curious about a lot of these things and i really hope that uh, luffy and Pauly uh, manage to remove these things because uh, iceberg really needs their help as he's just being uh, uh, pressured into giving them the blueprint and even if they don't um, threaten to kill him they are now threatening to kill others so it's a, a really complicated situation for iceberg and uh, it's it's really um he really needs some help really needs um zoro and uh, all of the others to get to this uh, place and uh, drive these guys off for now but uh, it's also not going to be easy because we just saw how strong uh, they can be i also don't really understand how this guy's power uh, works and uh, i mean this one who could create the door so we uh, saw how he was able to do that but then he also showed this uh, power of uh, like becoming hard as iron or something i don't know how exactly it works but it just became really hard and uh, then he was really fast so i don't know if he has uh, he has the devil fruit power of the like the door door devil fruit power 
but I don't know if it's even possible to have more than one power. It's uh, something that I've been wondering a lot, and um, I don't know if it's um, going to be a thing later on, and if this guy is uh, actually uh, using uh, this, um, this type of thing, like if he actually has more than one Devil Fruit power. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, something that um, I really hope that they explain at some point. And right now, I just really want to see what's going to happen, since... Uh, uh, the these shipwrights, the ones who were really close uh, to um, to iceberg, and not all of them. I don't believe that Pauli is part of them, and uh, also the other one uh, outside Lulu. Um, but three of them are. So, and, and I don't know if three. Wait, there is um two of them. Um, it's a uh, Luchi and um, Kaku. And then there's the, the guy who was working at the bar and Khalifa. So there's uh, still three other shipwrights. And uh, I want to believe that those three, uh, they are not involved. But uh, it still sucks that uh, two of them are part of the CP9. And uh, they were just uh, uh, tricking Iceberg and taking advantage of his kindness. Uh, but yeah, really hope that something good happens. Really can't wait to see what happens in this next episode. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. So take care, guys.